Hello everyone, Praise Good here. Welcome back to more of Ocarina of Time. So last time, when I, I said I would meet you when we were doing the grave digging game, but I need to bring you in here because this is the start of a new recording session, and I feel I should sh show you something that nine times out of ten, when you start your game new, when you start your game back up after saving it, it plops you in the first major location it can get you to closest to what you were doing. At this point in the game, it is going to put you back in, it's going to put you back at um, Kokiri Forest. So I figured I would just show you that this is something that happens, even though I don't want it to happen. But I guess I'm going to, there are two things we can do, actually two things we can do that I forgot about the other thing, but we're going to try and head back to whatever is available first at night. So I'll meet you, well, somewhere at night. And our first stop, uh, stop is going to be with Dompe here. I mainly waited for the right time of day, but, um, something that I should mention here with Dompe is... If I didn't mention before, is when you're going to do these grave digging things, of course have him dig on, always have him dig on soft spots. I believe in the N64 and 3DS versions of the game, he will owe uh, what prize we're going to be after right now. It is random. But, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Something in my throat. But I do know that if you're playing randomizers of this game, whatever Dompe can give you is always is always the first spot you dig at. So, I gotta cut around a little bit again until I get Dompe to dig up what I want. There it is. After, I think, 90 or 9 digs, that's what we were after here. Dompe will dig up a piece of heart. Oh boy, you know about deep pieces of heart. Now, speaking of uh, pieces of heart, we're going to do something. We're going to do some other side questy things here. One that, uh, one or two, one or two here in Cockery Village are required to be daytime, so let's see if I can remember how to do this. I was close. Listen, I only remember the N64 commands, not the, not the 3DS commands. So there's one or two things we can do here in the daytime in Kakariko Village. But they do require a little bit of finagling. First thing first, before we go talk to the lady that's obviously distressed there, we're going to do a little bit of chicken corralling. I swear that wasn't that low before. Anyway. I think... Can we go in here? I guess we can't do anything here. But yeah, there's a few things we can do back here be, uh, in Cock Creek Village before we start off any proper side quests here. And I don't remember everything that is everything you can do here. All I know is... Oh. Nice. I uh, didn't mean to try and pick up the plant. I meant to grab this. Money. Fantastic. So if you're feeling brave, aka stupid, you can shoot a beehive. I don't know if you can knock him down, though. Part of my brain says you can knock him down. Oh, bugs. Always have a first stash of bugs nearby. That's something I forgot to get when we were uh, back at the graveyard. Because there is a little bit more we can do here that I wasn't aware of. But there is a little bit more we can do we can do actually at this point. That I didn't know we could do at this point. Check. Yes, I am. Okay. Boss is a son. Anyway. Uh, we want to do I'm gonna do a little bit of preparing for a mini game of sorts. Not like a time mini game, but just a just a little bit of prep for the minigame, for the minigame, or the fetch quest rather, that way we don't have to try and do this at a time, but 
There was a lady that was distressed over there, and she wants her chickens. So we're just gonna get we're just gonna grab some of her chickens that are a little bit more out of the way. So we have access to Well, that way we don't have to putz and futz around. Actually, we might be making a couple trips here because I think with this chicken here, we can achieve one or two things. I uh, can't get up there, that's what I thought was, but I think with this chicken. If we do some jumping right, we might be able to get at that ledge over there. Because, for some reason, chickens fly. No. Not from here. Yes, yes, yes. I happen to have one of your chickens, lady. Uh, we want to get up there. There is a way up there that doesn't require you to do... There's a way up to that ledge that you can do now. That I'm remembering, but it requires a little bit of finagling and finoogling. That's now a new word for noogling. Although I don't know the perfect way to do this, so to say, so I'm just gonna... Okay, somehow the chicken stay there. Grab it. Now this is pr the hard part about this, is to land on this uh, rafter over here. Like, you could probably throw a cuckoo onto it, but the hard part is about A, landing on this rafter. Oh boy. I guess it's pretty easy to land this raptor. And then quickly getting over here and making a jump for that ledge. Ugh! You can make it if you... You can make it up there if you throw the chicken. Oh, don't tell me that chicken's stuck up there. That chicken's stuck up there. But yeah, you can get up there. It just requires like a... A feather touch, so to say. Basically to let go of the chicken at the perfect time, so that way you grab the ledge on the way down. I mean, I'm going to try it. We can get at it. It'll be a much uh, quick, easier way to get at that later, I think. But I want to try and do it this way once more before I give up on it. Also, we basically have to try and tie this around that guy who is doing laps. Now's the time. Okay. So I did kind of the not intended way to do this, but... There you go. It's another piece of heart. There's a better way to get at this later, but I want to do it that way now. Anyway, now that I've now that I've done what I think is everything I can do in the village itself for the time being, in terms of piece of heart and everything, let's talk to this lady. Please catch six more. Wait. How did you get in there? What chickens have I caught? What chickens haven't I caught? Anyway. So yeah, her, these are her chickens scattered about the place, and they're fairly easy to see, but you need like one chicken to catch another chicken. Also, they hide in crates. No. Come back here. Cuckoo? Cuckoo. Thank you. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm saying the Spanish slang for, for grandpa when I'm saying cuckoo. Anyway. We need to put cuckoos in the pen. Unfortunately, we need several of these cuckoos to get other cuckoos. It's it's a cuckoo for a cuckoo kind of trade deal. So, that was not the jump. It's fine. We can keep trying. But how old they imagine like a, a like a ten year old kid to do this stuff? I have no I earthly idea. How I used to do this as a kid is I used to get onto that railing on our left there. Like, I managed to land on that, not only land a, a cuckoo on that railing over there, but also land myself on the railing over there. How I managed to put, how I managed to do that, I will never know, but it just, you put, yeah, oh god. You put both yourself and the cuckoo on that railing, and then you jump from the railing and you get over here. I did it that way. I want to say in this version of the game, Grezzo finished, uh, fixed the uh, railing height, so that way you could easily get, come here, come here. Okay, I'll take either of you then. Come on. Uh, I think Grezzo fixed that, the height of that railing. So you can just very easily glide over it. Anyway, toss that. Grab this. And this is dumb because you do need a chicken to get a chicken. Like, it's a lot of situations where you need a chicken to get a chicken. Thankfully, you can just hop over this fence if you goof it. But yeah. Now, I don't think... As long as you do not leave Kakariko Village, all these uh, all these cuckoos that you're gathering will stay within the pen. Or will, will stay where you threw them. 
So if you're worried about, oh no, a chicken ran away, then don't worry about it. Uh, I have fear, actually, because there's three in there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do is something dumb. I'm going to go see if, if uh, the rooster or the chicken that we threw into the pen before is actually, it was actually the one that was in there beforehand. So let me go back up that tall ladder. I hear, I hear a cackling cuckoo, and that makes me uneasy. Okay, so never mind, they reset regardless. Listen to me. You're going back in your home. You're going to go back in your home and you're going to like it, no matter whether you like it or not. Uh, hold on, let me just bump you in. Uh, okay, you fell in anyway. Anyway, there is one more Kuko we haven't seen quite yet. And it's actually on the way to it's actually on the way to where we're supposed to be doing right now. But we're not gonna go do what we're supposed to be doing. In fact, after seeing a list of possible things I can do before even going to the uh, next major objective, we actually we actually can go get a bunch, and I mean a literal bunch of we can go get a bunch of uh, gold skull chillers around the world. That I didn't know you could actually get access to at this point. So we're going to go have ourselves a wee bit of an adventure. Today. I will say though, do this quest for... Do this quest. Hey, I found them all. Wait, what? Wait, there's one more? Well, the only, w the only one that would be left was like something behind this house or something or at the front gate. Wait, stop your movement. Check up here. Nope, nothing up there. Hello, Carpenter Boss. Your son is not here. Oh, okay, yeah, there is one more. I would like to use this as a friendly reminder to you guys that Scooter hasn't played Ocarina of Time since he initially beat it on the N64. Scooter was 12. 11 or 12 when he, got, when he played that game. Hi. Anyway, for doing this quest, we get another bottle. So you've been following along at this point, you have access to two bottles. And we are going to use both bottles. Items. 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 We're going to use both bottles for what we have to do for our quest. For some of our uh, optional Skotella hunting. Gold Skotella hunting in a little bit. Skotella, Skotella. I'll probably interchange that. But I do know one of the... Because I did it before, the quickest and the quickest way to get more bugs, because we need more bugs, is to pick up either. I think it's to pick up this rock. Yep. Now, so, now <clears throat> before I cut away to our next step in the process, what I will tell you is that the difference between the N64 and the 3DS version of this game is not so much of a. By the way, all of our chickens are loose again. It's not so much a quality of life change for the better. But for the sake of the game, it's better. I feel in the N64 version, if you release if you release a bug, either to root around in a hole for a gold skullchilla, or just let it loose wherever, you can essentially duplicate the bugs you gather, the bugs from that jar. So if you have one bug, you can you can get potentially three bugs. More, most commonly, get two. In this game, they made it so if you release all the bugs, you can only get one bug back. They also made it so that if you dumped bugs into a hole in order to get access to... Excuse me. <clears throat> if you release bugs in order to uh, get something out of a hole, all bugs go into the hole and disappear at that point. Now, I'm going to do a... Tr now, the way you're probably supposed to do what I was doing earlier with the, with the rupee trick is something here with the sun song, which I'm going to do now really quick. <clears throat> But yes, using the Sun Song as as such, you're gonna force it to be nighttime and roll up the gate. Now there is one little adventure slash mini game we're gonna be doing here at night in Hyrule Castle Town. So this has a purpose, and I had forgotten about this. But this is probably how they meant for you to get those three twenty rupees at the top. Clip for the floor. Okay, fantastic. But this is a a little 
mini game, so to say, to get a dog, a lost dog to their owner. Now, I have since forgotten a long time ago what dog it is, but I believe it's this dog. Basically, run to a dog, it starts following you. Now, just for the sake of showing how this works, showing how this works, because this dog will follow you like a magnet. And we basically want to take this dog down a uh, back alley to, take, to get it back home. But, say, but what if you say, oh, I don't want this dog. Come up to this rooftop here and jump off. The dog cannot follow you. It will break from, your, it will break from, your, from following you and you can get a new dog. But we basically want that dog that's behind the vendor in that corner. The, basically the whitest, by color, the whitest pooch you can acquire. Come on over here. Puppy, come on. It also works if you get stuck behind any, like, uh, scenery around the area. So if you get the dog stuck behind any scenery, that will help you. Now, I believe there is a house. I think it's this one. We basically want to take this dog into this house with this lady. And find her little Richard. Listen, I'm, I'm not stupid when it comes to cute nicknames for Richard. I'll let you pull that one apart yourself. But doing so will give you a piece of heart. And if you have been following up to this point, you now have, well, you now have a full heart container extra than what you would probably have normally. And with that, I think that's everything we can do. I will tell you that for the sake of letting you guys know what we can do, what you can do at this point, you can come in here to the treasure chest shop, uh, pay f 10 or 20 rupees, and play a 50-50 coin flip about 10 to 12 times to get a heart piece. This is much more feasible to do later on in the game, so I'm not gonna do this now, but if you wanna try and play full odds to beat this, go for it. The other thing you can do, which I will come back later once we have acquired uh, basically our next item, is the bomb shoe bowling. Uh, you can do it a day at night, although I swear it was only a nighttime activity in the N64 version of the game. So, come, so we'll be coming back for that in the future to take care of that as well. But with our bugs, we can go ahead and handle a couple of thi a couple of Skullchilla things around the world. Most notably, they're actually going to be back two of the ones that I can see that I see right here that we're going to try and handle is back in in uh, back in Kok uh, Kokiri Forest and subsequently the Lost Woods. So Actually, no. I'm looking at this all in the wrong angle. I'm jumping ahead of myself. We're actually going to head to another portion of the map we haven't been to yet. I believe it is the south east corner of the map. So basically down towards these mount this mountain range over here. <clears throat> uh, I will say that there is something we can do... There's several things we can do like around the perimeter of Hyrule Castle and across that river over there. But we need the item from the next dungeon to do some stuff over there. So we're going to just let that be for the time being. Now if I'm wrong in what I'm doing here, I will cut forward. But I got to keep you with me just long enough for us to get to this area over here. Also, there are faster ways to move. Uh, let me just take a moment to do that. Say hi to the fastest way to move through throughout Hyrule Field at, the, at this moment. Sidestep hop hopping is apparently the fastest way to move throughout the field. Uh, let's see. Day or night doesn't matter if you get over here. Oh. Except the pea hats come out at night. Light up, buddy. Head south from here to reach Hay Lake Highly as food reach waters. If you go west, you'll find Gerudo Valley, the hideout of, ga of a gang of thieves on the other side of the valley. Well, you're free to do go anywhere you want. <laughs> Yes, we, I, I follow. Go, go, Please go away. So anyway. We're going to go anywhere we want. Which requires us to... Which, just for the sake of getting things as early as possible. We're going to head over to Gerudo Valley first. Now, oh. I guess I'm thinking about another point in the game. Because I could have swore that this portion of the air, this area was dark. Or this area was blocked off to to link at this point in the game. But I guess it isn't. So 
So, Gerudo Valley. Even though we can't really do much in this area right now, there are, of course, gold skull chillas available to us, as you can see one scurrying along the wall there. But, what we have to do is we have to gather up a... one Kuko, and it may take me a couple tries to get this right, by the way. But we want to uh, we want to look for some spots to jump over to for various goodies and rewards. So I'm going to try and just jump from highest to highest location. I may be doing this wrong, by the way. I may be doing this incredibly wrong, so forgive me. Because I never really have done anything like this at all. I think time passes normally out here. Um, let's see. Well, there's something down there we can do. Oh, actually, I think that's my target. Is this spot right here. I'm just going to take a slow descent. But I guess time does pass normally at this uh, right now. No. Well, there's that oh-so-lovely Gerudo Valley music that everybody knows love. Anyway, we need bugs here. We need bugs at this point because in this hole <clears throat> in this very hole is a gold skull chilla. Now just so I don't hurt myself, I'm going to shoot this one. Watch it pop out towards me where I'm standing. There we go. But yeah, this gold skull chilla, oh boy. Actually, I think there is something we can... Yes, yes, I see it. Game. I'm trying to roll into that. Actually, I think there is something a little further up we can get at, but... I may have to take another pass at this area to get what I want. Because there is a ladder over here, but I don't know if we can swim against the current in this area. Well, no time like the person to find out, right? Because up here... Yes, up this very long waterfall, you know, secret behind the waterfall, a very classic video game trope that always seems to have, that is always seems to hold true, is another piece of heart. And at this point, we can go ahead and just go to with the river. I may come back uh, and check this area in a little bit because I think there is a actually enough, uh, oddly enough, another piece of heart higher up on the cliff wall there that we can get at. Oh, but that's something else that we can do. I didn't see. Okay. I probably will never do it because I never do take care of it myself. But if you ever see a cow out in the wild, if you walk, if you walk up to the cow, and you play this, and you play, um, let me think, you play Epona song to the cow. The cow will, act, well, the cow will respond, will respond and actually give you milk. If you have an empty bottle, you can get free milk from the cow. Now here in Lake Holly, H Hollya. Yep, Lake, Lake Halia. Lake Hala Hala Gadalia. There are actually two... Well, one's timed. So we're going to take care of one Gold Skull Chilla while we're out here right now. One is timed, one is not so much. Uh, basically, uh, as it gets nighttime, out on these pillars... One of these two pillars... I can see it right now, just pixels of it. A gold skull chilla spawns. There we go. And out, and there's another one we can get at. Still here in Lake Hylia, but I kind of ventured away from it. Also, we're going to worry about that specific thing later because we can't get access to it. You can see it as we're swimming towards it right now, but we're going to worry about that bubble trail a little bit later. We're gonna worry about we're gonna worry about gold scotillos for now. While we're here. Well, for the remainder of this episode rather. Cause this requires us to dive, and we can't dive deep enough to get into either that hole or that that item that's in the bottom of the lake there. So it'll be another pass around. But what we need to do here is come over to this hole. I hit the wrong button. Drop off another healthy dose of bugs. And out pops. 
another another gold skull chella. Now I'm pretty sure most of the gold skull chellas that are in holes, we don't have to worry about. We don't have to worry about when it comes to day or night. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go do a little investigating around here. See if I can get myself some more bugs because I need some for one or two gold skull chills in the future. But I'm gonna end things here for now. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of Ocarina of Time. And next time, we'll try and get some more bugs. We'll talk to some fam funny faces out here. And then I think I'll just make a, like, a quick cutaway to see if I was right about that crate in Gerudo Valley or not. I'll see you folks next time. Take care.